Hi guys, in this very short tutorial I want to show you how to track anything without any tracking points very easy in After Effects, let's begin. First of all I will drag and drop an explosion footage just to show you how I will track it. And for example I want this explosion to be tracked in the background behind the car, but what if AE won't show me any of tracking points there? Let's select the clip and then click on track camera and wait until it's done. Once it's finished, I will scroll the video and try to find any points right in the background and as you see I have no points right there. The only points AE is showing, is right on the car here. So, no points no problem, let me show you how to track it. Under a 3D camera tracker effect, click on create camera. Now to control 3D camera and make things easier, we can switch one view screen to two views. The right side is the 3D camera and the left side is our actual clip. Now make sure to enable 3D on a layer you want to track, in my case it's an explosion VFX. After enabling 3D, we can see that VFX on a right screen as well, and if you play the video, you can also see how far or close the VFX is from the camera. In my case the explosion is too close to the camera and to make it 100% tracked properly in the background, I will move Z position far from the 3D camera like so. Let's say I want that explosion to be there, let's drag it really quickly there. When you move any object farther from the camera, it turns smaller, so make sure to scale it until you will be satisfied with the size and then reposition it again. Once you are happy with it, we can check if it's tracked perfectly. And as you see, that explosion is stuck in the background 100% accurately. Once you are happy with the results, we can close second window by just changing two views to one view. The only thing left is to place the explosion behind the car, and in case you don't know how to do it, let me show you it as well. Duplicate your clip and move it above your VFX and then delete 3D camera tracker effect from it. Now scroll to the very beginning of the clip and then select a roto brush tool from here and then double click on the clip. Now simply rotoscope the car as smooth as possible. Once you are done, click on freeze button to freeze the selection. Once the freezing is finished, close rotoscoping window and let's check the final results. Looks so fantastic, let me know in the comments if you knew about the tracking method too. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.